Hello, Jake. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, Joan. I'm doing really fine. It has been a really great week in crypto, and I see a lot of dips for me to buy. That's great. That's great. Glad to hear that. Um, well, this is uh, for everyone who, who is listening to this uh, video. This is Jake from Silo Totes. So just to start, um, I would like to know more about yourself. And in addition to that, I would like to know if you could tell us more about your project with Silo Totes. So hi. Hi, everyone. I am Jake. I am into my early 20s. I actually started off this project as an idea with my friends trying to mess around, thinking about, hey, what if we actually try to create our own game, try to create our own ecosystem, and maybe try to find a platform to actually host it on. Then, like, then there was this particular friend, and I will call him James, because that's how he liked to be called. He said, why not build it on Celo? The Celo network has actually been thriving this year. It only came out like earlier this year, or was it? the end of last year. And then he found, he found it quite interesting that he has been blooming ever since. And then he introduced me to Cello Punks, the other NFT scenes in Cello earlier in the film around one or two months ago. And now here we are. We have our own core concept of what kind of NFT we would like to have and what kind of direction that we are going to have. That's, that's great. That's amazing and, and super interesting. And uh, let me tell you that I have, I have seen Silo Totes and I think that what you guys do, it's just amazing. So um, I would like to know um, what, what gave you the idea to start with this project or what's the inspiration behind this project? There's any, any type of inspiration you would like to share with the audience? Well, the inspiration actually came from a particular idea I had in mind. It was trying to design something for everyone and trying to have everyone trying to prosper in it. That's why my friend actually recommended me to come to Cello because of their particular slogan and their tenant. Their tenant being designing for all, which is the first particular tenant on the website. And the slogan that we would actually see them have, which is prosperity for all. Okay. Why we choose this particular project? or rather why we chose this particular image called Cello Toads was initially because we were trying to think of something that is fun, something that is lighthearted, something that is casual that everyone can actually enjoy. So I was thinking, why not have that? It's quite an iconic character in everyone's mind. But then like we went on with discussion. No, 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 that's not actually very original, trying to copy everything, copy from Pepe. So, how about we just make a pixelated version of Pepe, a toad? And we could make it into multiple styles, being contemporary, being somewhat old, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, perhaps even some normal Godzilla, <laughs> something fun and something casual. And then that's how Cello Toad was formed. Okay, okay. That's really, really intelligent. And I'm sure that uh, the audience is going to is gonna love to to hear about um, the inspiration behind Silo Toads because I, I think it's really interesting. So um, just to to know more about about the project, uh, why why did you choose Silo to to launch your NFT? Why? Oh, uh, as per before, of because of the tenant mm -hmm. designing for all, and definitely the slogan that is prosperity for all. We want our seller tools to slowly gain value, trying to appreciate like the other assets in crypto. And then we hope that all our holders can actually profit from this particular project and maybe even be able to earn money from this project when we actually develop other the, the other ecos the other aspects of this particular ecosystem. We also chose Cello because of the gas fee, definitely. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that gas fee is quite a pain. Or other networks like Ethereum, we, we saw Ethereum actually has the gas fee skyrocketing to a few thousand dollars at time. And then there's Cello. It's actually less than one cent in USD. And to us, it was a really great opportunity to actually start kickstart our kickstart our project here. Yeah, that's that's really 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 interesting. Thank you for for sharing that and and your thoughts about Cello. 
Um, so you know that we have a lot of creators and uh, the different creators are doing collaborations. So here's my question to you. Uh, what col collaborations do you currently have? So at the moment, the collaborations that we do have is with Cellopunks. Mm -hmm. Cellopunks is actually included in our roadmap for like every 2,000 for every 2,000 post minter, we actually are giving away one Cellopunk to one of our holders. And then hopefully in future, when we are developing other aspects of this ecosystem, we will be collaborating with Cellopunk as well because we actually have this idea in mind that I won't be talking about at the moment. And then we are actually collaborating with Ula and Nomdrop this month for a particular giveaway. And hopefully we will be collaborating with our other projects as well, such as Mobius, Wellora maybe. And we will see how it goes from there. There's too much unpredictability in the market, so I don't want to make any guarantees. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great and amazing. And I like the fact that you want to preserve the mystery. So people want to know more about, about Siloto. So I, I really like that. So, you know, why, why you don't share with, with the audience what, what's next for, for Silotoads? In the short term, it's definitely finding a date for closing our meeting. We want to create scarcity for our particular asset, for our particular NFT, so that people can actually start trading it. And then there's, the next thing is definitely trying to get listed on more platforms like Arisha. And then there's also CyberTime, maybe Unipi, possible. And the next thing that we are going to do is definitely more promotion, more marketing. We need more exposure to, for our particular project. We want our project to succeed. And then in the long term, it's something that in the long term, we aren't going to reveal what's for the long term yet. Because for the long term, we might actually want the community to have a decision in where we are going, even though we already have a particular direction in mind. That's, that's great. That's great. And what, where is your NFT going to be listed at? Well, our NFT is definitely going to be listed on Arishop. We have been in talks with them since a few weeks ago when Arishop was beginning to be formed. And then there's also CyberTime. When CyberTime was actually just starting revealing their platform a week ago, we actually approached them. And now we are going to be listed on both exchanges, maybe around this week or maybe next week. Okay, that, that sounds that sounds great. And we're we're really excited to to have you in our NFT marketplace. And we we're really looking forward to uh, display your collaborate uh, your collaborations and your collections over there. We're we're really ex extremely excited for that. And um, we really appreciate all your all your art. It's great. Thanks, John. Yeah. So yeah, this 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 would be the 